You can go there. We're already rolling. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Call me Howie. Howie. Mark. Good to be here. It's funny. The, right when I walked in, there's a guy on his hands and knees cleaning the toilet bowl. And I was like, we're at the, we're at the Mandels. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the guy cleaning the toilet. There's a guy cleaning the toilet? Yeah. He doesn't know who that is. Oh. No, we don't have it. There's not another guy here. <laughs> I swear to God, he's got a white shirt and a flat top. He's out there. Nope. <laughs> Hispanic man. Thin build. No. <laughs> All right. Should we start? Well, well, now I'm worried that there's somebody in the toilet rubbing the bowl. Well, it was cleaning. It was... While hygienic. you were pissing? Yes. No. But he was in there before me. Thank you. We better, we better talk about this. All right. You can start. It. Oh, I thought we were on. What? I thought we were on. We are rolling, but now, we are. But now there's theme music. Welcome to Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Howie Mandel. I'm Jacqueline Schultz. That's my daughter. Hey. That's Mark Norman. Hey, good to be here. Thanks for having I me. I know. Nice. I'm worried. I'm worried. You worried? Get out of here. No, I am. About what? I don't have a guy in the toilet cleaning. I swear to God, I walked by to ask Caroline. There's a guy, there was a guy on his hands and knees scrubbing the bowl with a toothbrush. Are you a liar? No, I swear to God, I just saw it. <laughs> I don't know why this is so controversial. I figured you'd be a clean guy. I am a clean freak. Yeah. If I could have somebody here cleaning the toilet bowls all day long, I would. Maybe he was a plumber and he was checking the pipes, but he was kneeling near the toilet. He was pulling a full Kaepernick next to the bowl. Wow. Wow. Anyway, uh, back to you. All right. <laughs> I'm just eating. I'm, I'm snacking. I'm thrilled you're here. Thanks for having me. It's he good came to be in here. all the way from Bakersfield. Bakersfield? Had a, had a gig there last night. Mm -hmm. You don't live in Bakersfield. No. Are you from the East Coast? Yes. Yeah. I live in New York, but I uh, figured I'm doing the Bray Improv all weekend. I'll fly in a night early, sell some tickets in Bakersfield, and then drive back. How was that Bakersfield crowd? Killer. I mean, it got a little rowdy at the end. What does that mean? Well, uh, it was at a brewery, so they were really putting them back. But a lot of laughs, not a lot of teeth, but great time. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're doing good, when you're in a room and you can actually count the teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that means their mouth is open. Yeah. And the Brea, you said the Brea Improv sold out the entire week. Oh, yeah. You're kicking ass. Man. Added the show. Thank you, Hal. You Appreciate added it. shows. Yeah. Wow. Very excited. Well, I think for an East Coast guy coming out to L.A., you, you, it's so rare, so you can really build up a, a following. And you, are you surprised that people, I, I'm not, are you surprised that people out here know you and are buying sure. tickets? Why? I'm always surprised. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a queef from Louisiana. I'm always shocked when anybody buys a ticket. Do you ever have that? You go to a comedy show, you go, who are you guys? I've Why never heard anyone here? describe themselves as a queef. Oh, yeah. Isn't Trying a to... queef the sound that comes out of a vagina? Yeah. And, but you that's call what it, you are. That's you're, me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you did was... come out of a vagina. Yeah, that's true. And there was maybe there was a sound. I mean, only... Yeah, you, you... I would assume noises are and fluids are coming out of there. <laughs> All Placenta. Right. Placenta. That's after. No, okay. that's the encore. But but uh, so what I'm what, but you've been doing really well for quite a few years right now. I mean, I'm, I've been aware of you for a long time and you've done well on on the on um, YouTube. I, I mean, oh, yeah. I always see you and, and you, you post. So I, I'm, I'm fascinated that you're surprised that uh, we over here on the other side of the country, it's not that far away because we, we also have the I don't know if you the World Wide Web. But we have. Ah, that. yeah. Wow. So. Hey. So you're a you're a big deal. I don't know about that, but you know it's one of the things when you're in it you don't see it. It's like getting taller. You don't feel it. Then you go to measure one day and you're like, hey, I'm a six inch penis, pretty good. So is that are you being <laughs> honest? Six inches, yes. Is that standard? What's standard? Sadly, I think it is. But I'm very veiny. If that helps. Okay. All right. <laughs> If I was going to do heroin, I, it'd be I, right in the hog. <laughs> I defer to my daughter. It, it's right. uncomfortable when you're doing a podcast with your daughter and sure. the guest is talking about how veiny his penis is <laughs> and she's wearing that shirt. Oh, what does that say? Okay, I, I have more penis than a bird can handle. Mm. Is yeah. that your merch? No. Uh, no. Oh. no. Hers, just hers. She's selling that one shirt. <laughs> Why are you wearing that shirt? That was actually, we had Miss Pat on a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. And uh, she we were telling a story about uh, that my son, uh, we, she, we were talking about my son, and she, that was her line. She said, I hope he has more penis 
than a uh, a bird can handle. And why are you wearing the shirt? You, because I came here today without a sweater or a jacket, and I I'm wearing a very thin t-shirt, and I walked in here and it was cold. I wasn't going to talk about it. Why are you bringing it up? I just I didn't, didn't want to be inappropriate with cameras facing at me. It was very nipply in here. It was chilly. It, it is chilly. So I put this on. He told you he has a six-inch veiny penis. You could and tell that him that queef. you're, and you could, you know, you're sharing. I, yeah. Yeah. You well, young people. You crazy young people. We're having fun. <laughs> yeah, mean, you are. It is nippy in here. You're you're dressed like a break dancer's agent. <laughs> For some reason, but you're all decked out in hoodie and whatnot. You know what you remind me of? You what? remind me of was it Seth Green that always got like the roles as the can't young hardly kid? wait. Yeah, yes. with like the with the goggles. goggles on his head. You remind me of Seth Green. Yes, you're a virgin wigger. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I would describe you. Well, thank you, mm. thank you. I don't know if that's appropriate, but it, a lot of people listen Wigga. to this. It's always good to talk about clothes on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is no video? What? No, it no. is video. Oh, it is video. It is video. Right. We so have good. cameras, but I don't know that they're on. All right. I think they are. Check this out on YouTube if you want to see how I dressed. Everybody's watching on pods on YouTube now. They are. The, the, the audio format is way down and YouTube way up. Really? Yeah, you got to have video. You, you have a big, uh, successful pod. Well, yeah, I got a couple. Yeah, but you've been doing it for a long time. Long, one of them nine, ten years, and one Since of them two thousand and thirteen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and that's very successful for you. Well, I don't know about very. We're not uh, we're not Rogan over here, but we're no. But you make a good living. Yes, you sell a lot of merch. A lot of merch. My shirt just says comedy. That's all it says. That's it. I couldn't think of anything, but they're selling like hotcakes. That's great. How do hotcakes sell? Have you ever been to a place like I've been? I'm around for like over sixty seven. I'm maybe sixty seven this year, and people wow. always say it's selling like hotcakes. Yeah, but I've never been to a hotcake sale, and I've never been in line for hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah I guess no, you're right. I've never bumped into anybody who said, "You know how many hotcakes I bought today? They yeah. were sold out." Like that's never happened. So well, what should we change it to? Aren't hotcakes pancakes? Yeah, or flapjack. Well. IHOP has a whole business just based around pancakes, uh, so it, might, it must be doing well. Great point. I yeah. would imagine that at this moment, if we walk, there's a there is an IHOP down the street. If we walk there's there, there wouldn't be. Oh, pardon me. It's a Denny's. There's a Denny's too. Okay, sorry. I <laughs> I ate there before here. You uh, went to the Denny's? Yeah, well, I got a little early. Really? What did you have? Hotcakes. Did you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So See? they were selling. They so, do sell. And was it? How many other people were in the restaurant? I don't know. Three. There was three. And we were all equally as sad. Okay, so there's three people there, and <laughs> yeah. you were eating, you ordered hotcakes. Yep. Did Do you think the other two were eating hotcakes? I would imagine, because it's pretty early. So three, three hotcakes. Three hotcakes. So that's the answer to my question. No, you, but selling, sack. you sell three shirts. I'm just trying to get a, how he's doing on merch. <laughs> so but it's like a stack per, per episode. Person. True, it's, it's a short stack. Yeah, so it's like three times Oh, three. now we're back to your penis again. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, How Good to have you on the board. Thank you. So the, I didn't know you do. I knew you had a, what are the different podcasts? I do one called Tuesdays with Stories, which is me and my friend Joe List, and we go on the road every weekend, and we come back with stories of getting heckled or getting laid or getting yelled at or getting in an air, airline Wait, Don't thing. you have a girlfriend? Yeah, well, I'm just throwing out things, but. Is that what you fiance. say to her? Is that what you, yeah, it's a fiance. But you could bang, you could bring your fiance and bang her. Is that a good story? You have a good story about banging your fiance. Anal, first time. Did you do that? We have. But uh, so the, the second time can't be, oh, you only did it once. Yeah, but that's a story I'm throwing out there. You wouldn't so, do anal, right? That's pretty messy. Me? I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to, but tell me about your <laughs> anal story. Tell me about, did you, was it your idea? Uh, it was her idea. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's quite a balloon knot back there. It's hard to, I don't know how these gals in the movies do it with the real pounding because uh it's a lot of so lot you of said to her i want to i want to hear it like in in not it, it, like so you said to her <laughs> she like said, was it a plan she brought it up what did she say she said hey uh we should try this all my friends are doing it uh i want you to like me and i'm like i like you we don't have to but do was anything. she already the fiance yeah so she had the ring yes so it wasn't for the ring. She wasn't trying to tease you. It or sounds something. like peer pressure if she said all her friends are doing it. Yeah. And, but it, and, and not only are all her friends doing it, but they're talking about it. Oh, yeah. So girls do that. They do that. Girls talk. So about girls something. will get together like and, and just go, I've had a I'm so it, 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 so go ahead. So she says all my friends did it. Yeah. And maybe I'm not satisfying her in the, the original hole. 
So maybe she wants to try a new one. Maybe that could be it. I have low self-esteem, so that's where my brain goes. Yeah. How but, long ago was this? A uh, couple months. And so this is fresh. Fresh. Fresh anal. And uh, uh, Have you talked about this on your show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, he has story, Tuesday is, stories. Oh, yeah. so, so you talked about this. So it's, sure. not a new, it's not a new story. Now, you're not getting an anal exclusive. I'm sorry. But I'll, I'm an open Shit. casket. Whatever you want, I'll talk about it. Is that it. what you call it? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies in that ass. But I didn't hear this story, so I'll 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 just. Uh, well, it's not much of a story. I'm just. So so you, she says to you, uh, all my friends are doing it. Yep. And we said, okay, let's make a night out of it. We got you a made a whole of, night. Yeah, we got some candles. We got a tarp. You know, we got some <laughs> lube and a tarp. Well, you could could get messy. So you really went? Uh, you go to you went to. Um, where do you go, like Home Depot, and yeah. you ask for an anal tarp? Like, yeah, pretty much. Or you get like a slip and slide. Any kind of duvetine will do. Is Vatine. it duvetine or dubatine? Duvetine. Okay. What did I say? Lubatine. I don't know. Oh, hey, Lubatine. There there's a, a Lubatine is a, a tarp with the red bottom. Oh, really? I think that's Louboutin. Those are shoes. Ah, the red bottom shoes. The, the red bottom Louis shoes. Louis Vuitton. No. Oh. Louboutin. Oh, Louboutin. Louis Vuitton is the V's and the L's uh, that, that they made a pattern, and they and they, that's luggage. I see. I think so, right? It's a pattern. Well, we're going down a real ADD <laughs> anal rabbit hole here, but which is so, what I call okay. her asshole. What, what does she what, what does she do for a living? <laughs> she's has a uh, she's a comedian, but she also does the like a real nine to five. What, what is her nine to five job? Something with influencing and marketing. And she influenced you to stick it in her ass. So yeah. she's an influencer. Yeah, we tried. It was too tight. It couldn't. You couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. All the veins wouldn't fit. Did she <laughs> Did she um, say stop before you said, I can't get in? Well, I put a pinky, just the tip of it, and she was like, ah, stop. And I was like, oh, what, what, what's going on? She's like, oh, you so put you... it in? And I was like, that was the tip of the pinky. And she was like, So well... she didn't know the difference between your pinky and your <laughs> penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, she thought that was No, but I like lot. the idea that you you decided you, you knew what you were going for. Well, you got to start somewhere. And you started with the pinky. Yeah. So like she's lying on her stomach. Yes. And you just, uh, you, you, first you lay down the tarp. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you got the lube. Yep. Did you put lube on your pinky? I did. Yeah. Do you, uh, uh, and then w with your pinky, you just lowered your pinky into her... Like a dipstick. Like a dipstick. Like yeah. like when you stick your toe in a cold pool. Exactly. Like you didn't want to do that. So you just stuck your pinky in. And it was the same reaction of a cold pool. She went, and kind of wow. flipped out. And, yeah. and she was like, what was that? I was like, that was just the tip of my but why pinky. Would she was you, like, Jesus. I, I know, but, more. but I love that she went, whoa, what is that? When yeah. it was her idea <laughs> through her girlfriends, like she was surprised. Yeah, yeah. So she has a short-term memory issue. Well, I think when there's no rear view camera when you're doing anal, it's not like a new Kia, you know? So this, she doesn't know what's going on back there. She could think I'm using a, a pepper shaker. Okay. And, and, <laughs> what, 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 no, so, then so, what do we get on Loveline? I'm so confused. No, I just, I'm fascinated. Okay. Okay. I, I've been married to the same woman for 42 years. And I'm really asking these questions because I'm sitting here with my kid. And I think sure. it's time we had the talk. Well, and I'm letting you be part of the talk. Your Are you learning something, Jack? Uh, no, I'm actually sitting back. I don't think I could contribute to this conversation at all. Have okay. you tried the uh, no, I don't, play? No, it's not about. Want, it's, okay. it's not about her. He doesn't I don't want to bring hear. me into the conversation. He just wants to. You're have asking it my daughter. You well, you, she's a grown lady. Yeah, but but you don't ask my daughter. You don't ask a woman in front of her father. Uh, have you had the butt play? Well, you're asking me in front of your daughter. But if your I've, parents not here. Have died. you talked to your parents about it? They they died. Doing anal. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry. Back to are her, they dead? Her, her are body's your a temple. Are your parents are really she dead? She only lets Jews in. Um, uh, no, she's not I'm married joking. to a Jew. Oh, really? Oh, you're joking about your parents' death? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. It's we're, fun. We're all gonna die one day. Right, but your parents aren't dead yet. No, no. You just say that to get a laugh. Well, I'm just hoping. You're wishful thinking. <laughs> Does your mother joke. do anal? No, no. How do you know? How do well, you know? She has girlfriends. She's in a wheelchair, so I think it's hard to. Is get your mother up. is your is your mother really in a wheelchair? Well, a rascal. <laughs> there we go. We got him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she's in a rascal. You can't beat a rascal. That's is she in a, gold. Is, she, is she heavy? Yeah, she's a lovely lady walking around town. Oh, you, you say everything's a lie. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. joking. <laughs> She's doing great. She's Have you actually great. stuck your pinky, your lubed pim- pinky into your fiance's yes, ass? Yes, that is all real. So the parents aren't dead. No. Your mother's not an invalid. No. And not she's yet. walking around town. You got that with a parasol and a, and a lollipop. She's having a great time. <laughs> your mother has a parasol and a lollipop. Oh, yeah, she's in a great place. Because she has anal. I Maybe, maybe. That Have works. you ever asked your parents about anal? No, but I noticed she was using a hemorrhoid pillow recently, so... Can we Maybe. call her and ask her? No, she's she's sleeping. <laughs> she's in New York. No, no, I'm from New Orleans. I she's moved in to New, New York to do comedy. Oh, she's the queefer. That's my lady is a queefer. Queefer Sutherland. My mom, I don't know about the queefing. You said you're a queef, which is the oh, sound oh, of I'm a queef, you coming yeah. out of your mother's... Yeah, well, I'm the queef. This is so confusing. I know. <laughs> I've been like talking to you for half an hour. I don't know what I've learned, but but okay. <laughs> so, you, you stick your finger in. She goes, whoa, what was that? You yeah. go, that's my pinky. Yeah, and she was like, geez, I thought that was way more. Because I think with the butthole, it's so... Tight. Yeah, it's tight. It's an exit for her, not an entrance. Right. So, so, what, so what is the next move? Well, then I said, well, let's try again. And she's... Fighting the pillow, she's let's, doing the Hail Mary. and l- Let's uh, try again with the pinky, or let's try it with you? Well, we got to get the pinky. You gotta, we, you're opening the door. What yeah. you're doing is you're opening, you're holding the door open for your penis. For you're being lady. a gentleman. There you go. You're, like, that's the thing. You don't just go, you, the dick doesn't just go in. You have to hold the door open for it, and you used your pinky. That's yes. like a doorstop. Right, That's right. what it is. So, okay, so you try it again. Yeah. Relube? Relube. Go ahead. Regroup. You know, we, we said our Allah, we did a whole thing, we faced Mecca. You said what? We, we prayed to Allah. Is she, is she Muslim? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're with a Muslim girl? Yes. Oh, that's nice. And the burqa was tough to get off, but that's a whole other bag of hammers. But yeah, so <laughs> we go back and uh, go for it again, and she <laughs> she spazzed, and so I said, uh, that's a wrap. Uh, it, it's not sexy. I'd rather uh, have a So fun you night. never you never never you only, did it. you only penetrated with your finger. And just a tippity tip tip. But that's not a, that's not anal. No. That's a prostate check. Well, we tried to have it. Then anal. I've had anal. Then every time I go get my <laughs> prostate checked, then I've had anal. By a guy. What? How do you know my doctor's a guy? I assume is he? <laughs> I don't know. They're always behind me. I don't turn my head. I don't want to know who that is. All right. You wait, it sounds like you wasted a lot of money on the preparation. Yeah, what do you do yeah. with the tarp and the lube now? I donated it to the Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take anything. So you're in, how long have you been engaged? <laughs> I guess uh, two months. And do you have a date set? Are Got you, a date. When is it? November 10th in New Orleans, hometown, right in the French Quarter. Where's she from? She's from Boston area. Yeah. And uh, you're going to be married and you want kids? I think so. This right. seems nice. Maybe I'll have a podcast. We'll talk about anal with That's my it. daughter. You can have a co host. Do you want co hosts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want three co hosts. That's what we're going to do. Do you have a question? No, I have nothing so far. You've been so fucking quiet. I you know. Just sit there, <laughs> you just sit there quietly with your, I have more penis than a bird can <laughs> yeah. handle. And you haven't said a word. She did say a word to me. Before you showed up, she said, I'm really excited. Oh. Uh, he's really, really funny. Wow. I follow and you on your platform, on uh, TikTok, on Instagram. Oh, thanks. So Jeez. I was really she excited, said, but I had no idea this is how the podcast And she said what she either. likes besides your material and stuff. She loves your crowd work. Do you like oh, doing that? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't. I'm a, I'm a, I like to write the material, but I, you got to do the crowd work now for the clips. Because you got to post the clips, but you don't want to burn material. So, hence ah. crowd work. Oh. That's smart. So after every show, I do about 50 minutes, and I do 10 minutes of Q&A. And people just yell out, Biden, or Greta Thunberg, or, you know. Uh, when they ask prices. you political things, in, yeah. in have you have you had uh, uh, an incident now? Because people are very politically charged. I know, I hate it. I know, me too. So, but what, uh, have has there been an incident where uh, something's happened with a crowd, or you thought, something was funny and they've turned on you or sure. yeah, what, what all happened? the time well th- this is new i mean i've been doing comedy 16 years which i know is infantile compared to yourself but like this flipped at like 2015 16 where it just all became political and i have people coming up to me after shows going i enjoyed your comedy but i can't tell if you're right or left and i i couldn't enjoy it and i'm like are you insane Right. Just sit there, and if the joke is funny, laugh. But you have to analyze what side are you on, and all right. this shit. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? It's ruining fucking comedy. It is. It is. It's it's a nightmare. But you don't shy away from it because that's kind of the stuff you post too. You're specifically asking 
Well, or... I just go for the joke. Like people are like, "Which side is this?" and what, "What's the angle here?" And I'm like, "I went for the funny angle." Like if I make fun of Trump, it's because Trump is a psycho who's orange who says "grab him by the pussy." And if I make fun of Biden, it's because he's old and out of touch and aloof. And I'm not picking and choosing. I'm just making a joke about both. That's what comedy should be. Yeah, you have sit you back ha and observe. Has there been an incident where you feel like oh, the audience has come back at you overly? Uh, tough. Yeah, you get the the angry lady who's like, shut up that like, I'll just be like, so abortion and they'll go, no, no. And you're like, well, let me do the bit. You don't even know my opinion yet. And right. my opinion is still secret. This is just a joke. People act like your joke is your whole uh, so personality. You have, you have secret opinions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we all your, do. What's your most secretive opinion? Mm, let's see. See this smile? You know what that is? That's excitement about our new sponsor here. Um, the new sponsor, because what this company is doing is genius. This is brilliant. It is breakthrough. And they are called Masterworks. Here's why it's genius. Masterworks.com, they figured out how to let regular people invest like you're a billionaire, okay? And uh, these are multi-million dollar investments, but you don't even need millions to be involved in this. And most importantly, Masterworks, produces results. Here's the, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. Even during COVID and, and now with inflation, I'm talking, listen to this, 29% returns on average. Uh, that's, that's not a misprint, right? It's 29% on average. Um, and every day the news about the economy gets worse. So that's why I'm so excited to have them as a new sponsor because this is such a breakthrough for everyday people. Demand is surging, but I'm Howie Mandel, so I'm getting you, I'm gonna get you priority access. That's because I'm so important. Um, right to the front of the line. Just go to masterworks.art slash Howie to skip the wait list at Masterworks. Uh, see important regulation A disclosures at masterworks.com slash CD. That's masterworks.art slash Howie to skip the wait. Now I'm going, I'm going to check them out right now. Back to the pod. Mm, let's see. Anal's not good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think bacon's overrated. You do? Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, the Muslim wife, she put that in my head. But no, I just think, you know, oh, we act like bacon is this uh, amazing thing. I'm like, it's fine. Is she devoutly Muslim? No, she's not Muslim. She's a atheist clan member. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, that's a secret. We're getting no information about you on but this podcast. It, but it doesn't matter because it's funny. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. That's what I'm. That's, that's my whole that. point. I'm try, I go for laughs, but people try to dissect your whole character. You've been doing a comedy for 16 years. What did yeah. you? How, how old are you? 38. So what were you doing right out of school? You started doing it. Pretty much, yeah. I was fail. I went to three different colleges. I was a mess. Uh, what were you? What were you studying? What were you majoring? I, in? I was majoring in all the the ones that were easy to get by. Communications. Then I finished in film. But did, did you want to? Did you want to do? I wanted to be a director. For those that are just listening, that was just a sound he made. That didn't come out of me or <laughs> that was a queef. Jackie. No, yeah. that, well, that was a, it was more a mouth a, queef. Uh, Came yes. from a queef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you did the as you were making the fart sound. The you, did the, you did the jerk off sound. Yeah, yeah. Do you find that when you masturbate, you fart? I have. Yeah. <laughs> Is it something that uh, your fiance requested? No, oh, yeah. no. I was talking to my girlfriends, <laughs> <laughs> and they say their boyfriends rub themselves and fart. All right. I'm sure there's an OnlyFans for that. Are you on OnlyFans? No. Are you on uh, P Patreon? Patreon, yes. Yeah. Making a good good amount of money on Patreon. Are you? Are, you guys are on there, I assume. No, no. I haven't. What? I'm thinking of going, that are we was on? Like, that was a conversation that we've been having. You are we on yet? On Patreon? I think we are on we're on Patreon. No, kind of. He's doing no, this. No, we thing. are. We are. So the, in, oh, in, there you on, go. on Patreon. So what what do you offer on Patreon that they don't see on YouTube? Well, you just do extra stuff. Uh, you get a little more real, a little more personal. Those secret opinions we talk about, you can say that it's on the Patreon. You know what would be on a great our, Patreon for you is what? just you shaking people's hands. You want to see? No, that's my OnlyFans. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to pay to see that. Yeah, me touching people. Yes. Um, but uh, on our Patreon, we announce who's going to be on before anybody, and we there take that, and we take the fan fan questions. Oh, exclusive. That's the key. That's an exclusive. After we do this, I'm going to ask you fan questions, and it'll be on the Patreon. Can't wait. Do you make uh, more money from your Patreon or from your uh, um, uh, just your podcast on YouTube? Definitely the Patreon. 
Yeah, because well, the podcast, you get the ad money. That's about it. Yeah. And are you making millions? Ah, a million maybe on the road. Wow. The road is where the money is. It really is. Yeah. And uh, so you do the pod to sell tickets to the road. Right. And then here we are. Where did you start? Where'd you first go up on stage? Uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette, L A U G H. It's called the oh, Lafayette. Oh, hey, that's good. I, oh, never I thought, thought you, of that. I wasn't trying to make a joke. No, no. I thought good. I know there's Lafayette, yeah. but I thought that that was the name that they had named the club, <laughs> no. the Lafayette in Louisiana. Yeah, no, that's good. I didn't. How did I not put that together all these years? What made you decide to that's go why. up on stage? Because you said that you weren't. You were going for communications and. That is communication. I just well, it. people in communications don't normally go towards comedy, do they? Well, do they? I just did a bullshit major to get out. People but did you get, always know that you wanted to be a comedian? Don't naturally go to anal. That's, That's true. Okay. <laughs> We're back. That's true. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit back on this interview. No, 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 no. You guys, you guys no. take over. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. This is. Uh, is it, I'm sorry. I'm not making you uncomfortable. No, no. I like yeah. it. I, I like it too. It's fun. You're very funny. Oh, yeah, so so you got did you have was the experience uh, when you first went up was it uh did you do well i think so i was in pretty much a blackout because i was so nervous big stage fright but i remember i was having i was sleeping with a woman at the time who was a soccer player and she gave me a yeast infection and so my whole set was about that and it went pretty well um I think you were sleeping with a soccer player who had a yeast infection. You give me a lot of information oh, you, sorry. to unpack in one. Was she there at the show? Was she no. okay with you? That's why I drove to Lafayette because I wanted no one I knew to be around. Yeah. Because of the yeast infection no, or because of the cause, girl? Because of the it, comedy. I was was so this a girlfriend? Yeah, I was dating at the time. Uh, and and a, a soccer player. Yeah, she was a hot, hot number. and uh, But she was, you know, active in the heat. And it got a little brewery, brewery going. Oh, yeah. yeast. Yes. It was rising. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like Christ. Okay. He's and, risen. And I'd, I've, uh, I've only like talked about or heard about yeast infections. When you, did you know that she had a yeast infection when you were sleeping with her? Well, there was a scent, but I, I think there was a bakery a block away, and I. You I smelled cookies. It was that. You were smelling uh, cookies, I'd and say you thought sourdough. <laughs> cookies is generous. Everybody loves a cookie. Okay. So you, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Stuff went down. And then right. Oh, the background, the background is going up. So wait, oh. so you were with this girl, this hot soccer player. Oh, yeah. And you got her naked and you smelled uh, a brewery or something. Yeah, yeah. Brewers and then used. you still decided to go for it? Guys, wow. guys, there's no, there's no way to yeah, say. Yeah, it's 21. Yeah, it's 21. <laughs> so then you, you go, uh, you finish, and then the next day, it, like, when do you realize, did you catch it? Do you ca can you catch it's it? It's called jock itch for men. Also, I was a waiter at the they, time. They had that whole line. I have jock itch for men because yeah. I see that that uh, hair color stuff is you know dye right. just for men. Just for men. So you got jock itch for men. Yes. Okay. So and how long does that happen? Wait, a yeast infection is the same as jock itch. Yeah, it's all it's all fungus. Oh, among us. Good to know. Yeah. So so you uh, and is that do you get it right away the next morning and? Well, we had a we had quite a, a romp. Okay, so now you have jock itch or whatever. You have a yep. fungus among Amongus. you. Yeah, yeah, and you, you say, "Oh, I'm going to do stand up comedy." This is the, it's like burning or itching or whatever's going on down there. Yeah, and you think, "Oh my god, this is perfect material." Yeah, you I want to be a stand up you know. exactly. And I, you know, this is pre therapy, so you you want to get it out. And it's comedy. You're you're you got bread in between your legs. So you're in. Good evening, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, Mark Norman. And then yeah. you come on and you go, my. Like what? What was your opening? Like what's the routine? About? I can't remember how it went, but it was a whole thing about jock itch and baking bread and yeast and sourdough and crust and all this stuff. And then I had a whole thing about Family Feud, and I used to be a bedwetter. <laughs> I talked about that. Wow. So I got a lot into five minutes, but I ran the light. I didn't know what I was doing. I was hammered. Was she? And she wasn't in the audience. No. no. Did she ever get to see the yeast infection routine? I don't think so. You know, it was in the early days when you. You rolled over material pretty quick. Did you ever talk to her about the yeast infection? No, she was kind of tough, scary lady. <laughs> and I didn't want to hurt her or anything. What's her name? Ah. Ah. I feel bad. Is that a European name? Yeah, <laughs> it's Polish. Ah. <laughs> and that's what it felt like the next day. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> but no, <laughs> nicely. All right, I'll tell your name. Greta Thunberg. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah how do you so how do you get rid of that actually i tried everything 
everything. I tried everything because I was poor. I couldn't go to the hospital. I didn't. I tried Monistat. I tried Monistat Seven. That was one of the jokes. There's Monistat. Uh, Monistat Seven. I do that joke. No too. way. I do. It was on a special. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Hope I didn't steal that. No, I think people think of the same thing. Okay. But in my in my act, I go. There's a Monistat Seven. There's Monistat Three and Monistat One. Yeah. Why wouldn't you get the one? Right. That's the joke. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I say sometimes you get attached. I want to hang on to this for another week, or I, or people yell out. Uh, why, I say, why would you buy Monistat One over Monistat Seven? And inevitably, every night somebody will yell out price, and I mm. always talk about this is where you budget. And uh, then I walk around the stage going rents due, and my yeah, my crotch is burning. That's a great bit. Thank you. Way better than my shit N bit. But you're talking about a bit that you did the first time ever on stage. Yeah. I've been doing it for 42 years. Oh, so what sorry. I like to do is I like to listen to people who've been on stage once, take <laughs> it, and make it better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear you. But now I hear all the stuff you do. You're really smart. You're really... Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, We're talking uh, about anal great... and yeast infections. <laughs> but I'll keep going. I interrupted. No, but you also talked about you faked your parents' death. Sure. You know? And uh, how long have you been going out with this girl that you're going to marry? Six, seven years. And the fact that she's a comedian, mm -hmm. does that, does that, I wonder if that, there's no. Um, that's ups and downs. Too. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I think a, we're in a competitive sport. Yeah, but we're on, I mean, we're different planets. I know because she still has a day job, so yeah. she's not doing well. And that's great for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> But she's what? really got a good ear. She's funny. And uh, it just, you know, it takes 10 years to actually get good. What if she surpasses you in comedy? I wouldn't be surprised. She's you'd, a hot lady. And uh, you'd be okay with it. And I'm a, yeah, I'm a skinny white guy. We're not exactly, you know, coveted <laughs> at the moment. Do you think you'd be able to handle it if she, like, uh, did a special and then took off and ended up being the... Uh, I think uh, I'd be okay because it's still mutual income coming in. That's nice. And also, I'm happy with my career. I don't need fame. Fame scares the shit out of me. I like I like this level. I like selling out clubs, doing some theaters every now and then, doing some Netflix stuff, and then hanging back. Really? Do you yeah. like getting recognized? I'll do... I like two a day, maybe. You know, you're at the airport. Not you recognizing people. I'm talking about people recognizing <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every now and then it's nice, you know. Uh, hey, comedy. Hey, hey, queef. Whatever. But uh, <laughs> that's all you want. But otherwise, I feel like if you get in the, the crosshairs, people just try to ruin you. That's I, a I have very famous positive. friends, and they're very attacked constantly. And they've, they've become zen about it, and they've gotten over it. But I, I'm a sensitive dweeb. But don't you get attacked like just in your because you're you're on a podcast and you're online and you're on TikTok? Do you read your comments? I do, and it hurts. It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't read them, but I think that you can glean some productive uh, notes from it sometimes. I don't know. I read Rarely. them too, TikTok, and, it, and it hurts me. TikTok's, I think, meaner than a lot of the yeah, other yeah, platforms. Yeah, TikTok's mean. Yeah, it's all mean. It's all mean. Those are the people. Like, how many good Yelp reviews are there no, for anybody? If I, you're angry, you're going to be writing shit. No, true. because I feel like Instagram, you garner an audience that, for the most part, likes you. TikTok is all random people that's pushed out. They don't have to know you or like you or anything. They just comment. Ah, uh, that's a great point. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Instagram is the nicest neighborhood. Yeah. All of them. So where do you see this going? I mean, I th I think you're like still a, a young up and coming superstar, but and you're saying you don't want the notoriety. I think you're not going to be able to help it if you keep doing what you're doing. Mm. But do you have a goal? Do you have a? Uh, uh, is there something you just want to keep doing what you're doing, or uh, yeah. do you think I'd yep. like to be Brian Regan? Okay, you know he's not the most famous guy, but he sells out everywhere. He's respected. He's hilarious. He puts out more, you know, tons of material. To me, that's the goal, which agents hate. They want you to do a TV show, Bobby's World, uh, Deal or No Deal. Do you, I don't want to do you, that. You, do, you wouldn't, if that came your way because people saw you, you'd say no to it? I mean, I would do it to help the stand-up, but it seems like But it all did. Work. Listen, my career was in the fucking toilet before Deal or No Deal really? came out. Yeah, I was about to leave. I, wow. I went from playing theaters and arenas in the 80s mm -hmm. to before right before Deal or No Deal came on, I was leaving the business and I couldn't sell 60 seats at a club. Really? Yeah, in 2005. Because wow. when I grew up, you were you were huge. Yeah, but at 2005, 
Fascinating. 60 people would show up at a club and I was reading for five lines or less on, wow. on sitcoms and stuff. So, you know, the, anybody who has any career and if you're mm -hmm. willing to stay in it in a long time, you're going to ride those valleys and those crests and the, the valleys are really hard. But, oh, yeah. But you have to have aspirations beyond just the just where you are. There's yeah. always got to be something. Wouldn't it be Why? He found the love of comedy. He just wants to keep doing comedy. His aspirations are not to, uh, I mean, otherwise you're always reaching for something more instead of just being happy and content with what you're doing. I'm happy and content. And listen, when people ask what it is to make it, I think it's to find something in life that you're passionate about and you yeah. have and, and you do it. But then like, what can I do with these tools? It's just fun to do, you know, and I don't know what that is. Yeah, you know, but, but are you saying you have to do these big things just to keep the the roller coaster going? No, upward? just to they're just fun. It, nothing I've done, and I'm speaking for you too. Nothing I've done takes away from stand up. Okay, you know, being a game show host, I would have never done, and I said no to it for the th for first three times. Wow. in the '80s, there was a, there was a it was frowned upon. As, you know, a comedian who's uh, currency is irony and making fun. The game show host was kind of, nobody did game shows. Uh, the last guy that did it before I was doing it was uh, Groucho Marx. Who yeah, did You Bet Your hero. Life. Yeah. So, uh, and then you you didn't want to, that was always the guy that was holding the cards and asking questions. Yeah, and when they yeah. came to me with Deal or No Deal, it made no sense. What happened was I started selling tickets to clubs sure. and, and doing, and, and it blew up my stand up again. You know, so. Uh, it feeds it, but I also like the idea of just challenging myself to do different yeah. things. Have you acted? And it's showbiz still, which is yeah. fun. Do you, uh, I you, am a horrible actor. Really? I think I could do a Romano, Seinfeld kind of thing of playing myself, but... And would that be interesting? Eh, I would do it. It just seems like work and then series are so bad and the jokes are horrible. I mean, if I could make my own thing, it'd be fun. Don't you feel like sitcoms are brutal? For the most part, except the the, the few people that have had um, there's real, great ones, and and you know like the Seinfelds and the Kirby Enthusiasms yeah. and things like that, because those people have been strong enough to um, kind of say as long as I can, yeah, you know I I did a couple of pilots, a lot of pilots. And they always put me with a writer or a showrunner, mm -hmm. and who didn't get me. And then I was yeah. trying to pretend to act in something that doesn't fit me. But if somebody came to you and said, "Hey, I like your life," you know, you, uh, I'm going to do the Mark Norman show. Where yeah, it's, uh, you I've know, had this happen. Really? Yeah. And then we write it, and then we take it to a network, and they go, "Jesus Christ, this is horrific. Like it's dark and edgy or weird." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, but that's that's me." Yeah. And they're like. No, we can't put this on TV. Maybe it wasn't the time for it because yeah. now it's a lot different. I mean, we were even talking to Miss Pat who has an amazing show and she's completely in charge of it and it's dark. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And you, you know her story? You know, she, oh, was, yeah. a, she was a drug. Uh, I shot her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I know. Yeah, she's got a crazy. crazy right, but, but you wouldn't think that's a show. Control. Now yeah. she has control and they're all true stories. Oh. Okay, level with me, people. We've all been in a situation at some point in our lives when we were yeah, a little tight for cash, right? We've been now I'll be honest, I'm I'm really rich. But years ago I wasn't. And uh, I needed some cash, but this didn't exist. Maybe you could only afford to put a few gallons. I used to do that. I used to I used to pull up to a gas station and go, two dollars worth, please. And and uh, that would take me like well, if that was today, that would take me like two hundred yards. You know? Or you got uh, you got another save the date, and we're wondering how you were going to afford a gift. And that's why regifting became so big. That's where Dave can help, okay? Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, or catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those experiences that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Did you hear what I just said? There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they needed with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch, you need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. That's a good way. Now, download the Dave app 
from the App Store right now. That's Dave, D-A-V-E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve.member FDIC. The future you will thank you. I am sick right now and recording from home, but I would not miss an opportunity to talk about my favorite mobile provider, Mint Mobile. So after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if I've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offered premium wireless starting at only $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. There's absolutely no catch. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. They cut out all the costs of the retail stores and they pass those sweet deals right along to you. So it is way cheaper. I know that I was never able to get service at my house or really anywhere I went with my provider I had before. So that's why I'm so happy that I switched to Mint Mobile because now I actually have service at home. I pretty much always have service and it is way, way cheaper. So for anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Like I said, Mint Mobile gives you the best rates, whether you're buying for one or for a family. And at Mint, family start at two lines and all plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5g network you can use your own phone with any mint mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts so switch to mint mobile and get premium wireless service starting like i said at only 15 dollars a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free go to mintmobile.com slash Howie. That's mintmobile.com slash Howie. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash Howie. I think Dark that the, the traditional sitcom is kind of over, but yeah. I'm just thinking there's, it's just fun to kind of creatively see, you know, what you can do with the tools that you have. You're a real witty, funny, out of the box kind of thinking guy. And it's like, you know, it's like if you're an oil painter, you're going to try watercolors one day sure. or you're going to try to do a sculpture. And that's mm -hmm. it's just different ways to use the tools that you have. And you're still really young. So oh, I okay. would imagine you have. Thanks for uh, you're thanking me for your I youth. I think you're being generous. Thirty eight. I wouldn't say it's really young. Hey, well, that's how old she is. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> same age. DiCaprio's not touching us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but for me, it's really young. You're the same age as my kid. Oh, okay. Boy, you look great. You're like a handsome Jeff Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Ross did a joke the other night. He, I worked with him the other night, and he, he did a joke. I look like Howie Mandel if he was hosting Meal or No Meal. Oh, that's Jeff fun. Jeff is really funny. That's fun. That is a funny joke. But you don't drink, right? No. Yeah, that's why. You, you got a youthfulness about you. No, I've, I was, I'm, uh, right now, I've, I've drank in my life. Oh, I was okay. drinking a lot. I've, uh, but the youthfulness, I don't know that I have youthfulness. You, you don't look aged. Thank you. Maybe that's the Hollywood or the It's the Hollywood. It's, it's the, the glasses. Ah. They're covering a lot <laughs> yeah, of your face. Yeah, a lot of the crow's feet. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. And they're tinted, so you can't really see through this is them. The most Why, do you think I'm been. old looking? <laughs> Am I old? No, you, no, you look good for your age, but you've but definitely you think, aged. No, but you think if I wasn't wearing glasses, I'd look a lot older? Probably. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. The glasses are good that? on you. Why and you if you that? changed your style what right you now. <laughs> what the fuck? He couldn't dress any younger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not dressed. Yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie. Isn't a hoodie like. Oh, it's got graffiti on it or whatever. It's not graffiti. I don't know. I mean, look, I'm dressed like I'm going to a swim party, so I can't talk, but. You know, I, it's a podcast. So really, without my hoodie and my glasses, I just look like a bald old guy. Yeah, you look like Bruce Willis now. You look older on the Staples commercials. Uh-huh. Just saying. <laughs> hey, congrats. That's a good gig. There goes Staples my, commercial. <laughs> Staples Canada. Oh, Staples Canada. nice. Yeah, I'm Canadian. I know. I was. I, I, I'm American, too. I'm a, a, a dual, dual. Dual. Well, how'd you get over that border? Was ice there? <laughs> I climbed. 
I climbed over the. Uh, you don't hear about the Canadian border. Niagara any Falls. Controversy, controversy. Yeah, they don't talk about that. No, it's much. all Mexico. Right. Mm. There's not a lot of people escaping through Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah, why is that? <laughs> Do you know how many people crossed the border from Saskatchewan into <laughs> Montana well, the, last week? They the, don't talk about that. The Canada comedy list is unbelievable. I mean, my hero, Norm MacDonald. I love. You know, and it's like. I loved. Love Norm. Love. I think he was the funniest guy alive. I agree. He's yeah. my number one. Yeah. Great. Great. And then? Uh, well, I like Groucho. Yeah. I like Larry David. Yeah. I like. He's uh, fishing. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, Howie. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know. You ruined it. Howie you ruined it. I wanted to see what number I was on the list. I, I was look helping old, him out. And I'm number I'm, 11. I'm helping him out. <laughs> what if you didn't show up on the list? On his list. That would have aged me. Oh, that would have made me look Im- old. Impossible. So um, what What do you, uh, what, you want to promote? You're live anywhere. We go to, we go to. Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. MarkNormanComedy.com. real estate queef has Mark Norman, and I tried to get it from him, and he wouldn't sell it. Did he, what, did, what was the biggest offer? I think I said, I'll give you a grand. And he said, ha ha, no thanks, or something. Is he really, is that his name, though? Yeah. Or he just oh, wanted to take name? it from you? Yeah, it's his real name. And I said, hey, do you mind? What, uh, does he, what does he do? I believe it was real estate. So does he believe, but he's never going to get, but he could do MarkNormanRealEstate.com and get $1,000. Nobody else is going to offer him money for that. That's what I thought. He could have taken $1,000. Yeah. We no should dice. call him. Where is he? I don't know. Florida, maybe? Give it a Google. L- L- give it a Google. Mark Norman. <laughs> Does your fiance estate. help you? Or with go, your to, go to media? Mark, go to MarkNorman.com. No. No, not at all. And see who has it. And then we can. This is not working, by the way. The screens are out and this oh, is going. Uh, we have a. Jeez, we're very geez. high tech. No, yeah. because we went. Ever since Radio Shack closed, we've been having really? so many mechanical it's glitches. It's true. Alex always talks about the cords he needs to get and the wires he needs to get, and he never. My son is is uh, the technical guy back oh, there. Oh, man. This is all in the family. This is great. It is. That's yeah. why I had to. I didn't want children. I want staff. <laughs> <laughs> I said, and we planned. We planned our staff. I wish you, you were know? my dad. Why? How? Uh, do you, what did your dad do? Uh, real estate. He has Is, Mark wait, Dorman wait, wait. comedy. <laughs> that's, Mark that's the Mark Dorman that wouldn't <laughs> no, sell you yeah. the thing. Dad! Yeah. Dad! No, you had to put in Mark Norman comedy. Or um, no. real estate. No, he that's, just thought, no, MarkNorman.com. Yeah. Go oh, to, it was the website or it oh. was Instagram? Oh, look at this. Maybe it's available now. Why? Because this it's is new. It's part free. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buy it, Caroline. I'll, buy be, it. I'll Venmo you. <laughs> buy it. Buy it, and he'll pay you a thousand dollars. Yeah. Get the domain. It's sixty nine ninety nine. Ah, it's a little steep. What? We, really? You were about to pay a thousand. Yeah, I'm out. Really? No, I'm joking. Wasn't but, yeah, it? Let's Should we it. buy it? Let's buy it. No, Park but you weren't talking that about someone owns it. What? Parked free means that someone owns it. So. Oh, that. So guy. can you can you buy it now for that mount? Seventy bucks. For no, but bucks, that's not what you it? were looking for. You were looking for Instagram, right? You weren't looking for no. I need dot com. MarkNorman dot com because I'm Mark Norman Comedy. Oh. Can he can that, he buy that, that? That's the broker offer. So the broker can can make that offer to the owner. Broker, uh, make sure. offer. That's make the, the offer. Fee. Make the offer. Well, how on how how will we find out whether it's is that the guy? Well, we're no, gonna find out. No, that's the broker. Oh, yeah. This is like a two-week process. I've done it before. So it's okay. Well, wait. Just I, sit there. I just, can come back. Yeah. <laughs> wait. It's a two-week process. So you you pay the seventy dollars for the broker, and then they try to contact the owner, and and they oh we the don't owner. pay seventy dollars. He's gonna he's already. Let's try to contact. We can't get to the owner ourselves. They they, they block their uh, you see their privacy block on it. Yeah. No, it but easy. if you go to marknorman.com. It's free because they just own the domain. They don't have a website. Oh, even oh. worse. Do you know what part of the country he was in? No, I don't remember. Sorry. How do you know it was real estate then if you never saw the... It was, it was years ago, but I think it was a real estate guy because I emailed him and it wrote back like you could see his little phone number and email on the bottom, you know, and it's like... Boston. Mark Real Estate. Boston. There we go. It is, right? I think it's Boston. Let's call so that let's guy. let's call him. Let's call him. Okay. Yeah. Let's call him. This could be a different guy because this is it doesn't matter. 12 years ago I tried to buy it. It's okay. We're going to get you a domain. I'm right excited. Now. Thanks, How. Holy okay. moly. Here My dad go. makes shit happen. Yeah, he does. Yes. Yeah. You gotta okay. love Jews. Talk to him. You gotta love the Jews. <laughs> Big fan That's of what the tribe. We'll, that's what will. You're you a fan of Huge. Jews? All my heroes are Jews. 
Norm Macdonald. <laughs> well, okay, but Larry David and Groucho well, and uh, not the number one on the list, but in well, the in the top fifteen, you got some Jews. Big fan. Okay, so we're gonna. Where's his phone number, guys? Put his phone number up here. Why did it just go? Away? We're, we're not Hi. sure of the number we you're looking for. We don't have a number. number, and this is his LinkedIn, and he spells it Mark Norman. It's not Mark Norman. Oh, find me any Mark Normand in the business. <laughs> Look in the up, business? <laughs> in a business, They're and we'll try there. to get it from him. There's a good chance that Mark Normand owns... Uh, why don't you take Mark Norman, then, yeah. instead of adding comedy? Drop the D. I need the D. You need the D? The D. That's what my wife says, too. I need the D. I need the D. But I think <laughs> I... But you can put a D pick up on the Mark Norman thing, and then you add your own D. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. You're missing the D. Here it is. Here it <laughs> is. Are we able to get a Mark Norman on the phone? This is We're so looking. weird when you can't own your own name. Tell me about it. I didn't. You told us. Oh, okay. Well, didn't you have that issue? Help. Yeah, I did. Just, oh, I just keep Googling and you're showing up. So oh, all right. Find well, somebody else. So then you're fine. I'll you don't need it. it. Yeah. All right. Great. So th if we clicked on Add to the Cart, we would have to pay $70. And then with that $70, we could find out in a week that we don't have it, but you still pay the $70. Is that how it works? Yes, I believe so. Wow, he wasn't it's robbery. Listening. He, he wasn't said listening. what? He wasn't listening. Then my son, my son, the oh. producer, is not listening to this <laughs> show. I'm looking up phone numbers for Mark Normand. Oh. Okay, but but answer this question. Yes. In that thing that we just did, where yeah. it said that it's parked for free. Yeah. If you clicked on that and added that to the cart, would we pay seventy dollars for the broker fee? That doesn't just not for the site at all. Oh. But if he, but but if he, but the broker fee, does he still take his V if he calls Mark Norman, the other Mark Norman, and that guy says no, I don't want to take it, I won't take any less than a thousand. Yes. We still pay the seventy. Yeah. Well, fuck that. I'm not doing that for you. I appreciate it. So I just said I'm not going to do it. For well, you. no, I appreciate even tried. this much of effort. You tried. You tried. Uh, I did. Yeah, I did. And if at first you don't succeed, you give up. You're I not, do. You're yeah. not a follow through kind of guy. No, I'm not a guy. I don't like that saying. That's my least favorite saying. Yeah. I mean, look at the anal. We stopped. We twice, tried. Twice. We tried twice. If we at first succeed. you don't succeed, that was you, you it. Put in the vagina. Do you go um, <laughs> after you try and she says no? Do you go right into the bathroom and wash your finger? Probably should have. Yeah. He definitely did not. I think I just did. did one of these. Ew. Oh, he put oh, it in his yeah. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he just put it in his mouth, licked his fingers like after eating chicken. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, that's what we had for dinner, actually, that night. You have you remember? an amazing memory. Oh, yeah. Well, I was a vegan before that. So that remember, that broke me, and that's how I remember. Wow. Yeah. Are you what vegan? a night. No. You why seem would like you? would be vegan. What makes me seem vegan? Well, the it's germaphobe the and the, the Hollywood... The germaphobe and the Hollywood. You make it seem so... <laughs> well, you're a, you're a germaphobe, right? No, I eat... What does that have to do with me? It just seems like you want a clean life and oh. clean living. I just want to disinfect. I, I don't care. It's germs. It's not like uh, health. He's actually not healthy No, I'm at all. not a good eater. Oh, okay. I eat like a four-year-old on the really? road. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like drive through I don't like dining. I like fast food. Yeah. You know, I went with him once on the road without... Bologna is my favorite meat. Ew. Without my mom. And the only thing he fed me on the road was, I remember a Sunday and then some potato chips and um, nuts. Yeah, that's so you the got only a, thing three he different fed food me. groups. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, we made the pyramid. They don't have that anymore, do they? What? There used to be a. a no, a, the pyramid's wrong. Way wrong. Yeah. You know about that? Oh yeah, we learned a lot. We used to think uh, bread was good for us. You that, thought I never thought bread was. That good was the for bottom us. of the pyramid. That was yeah. the biggest section. Grain, wheat. Yeah. Oh, we had bread lines. You were in a bird. Did you grow up with no money? I'm a Depression era comedian. But no, I'm just saying. When you say Depression era, you don't mean in 1929. You mean your parents were just very uh, upset and yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. What is going on? What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you, what are they doing? Pick a background and <laughs> stick with it. Technical difficulty. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> The worst. Right what? The all the screens the are phone. all messed up. Yeah, I got nothing on the screen. <laughs> this is all moving around. I don't have anything on my phone. Check your phone, he says. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mark. Uh, my son, like I'm not busy, went check your phone. Uh, <laughs> Why can't you just say whatever you're typing? Why don't you talk to us? I, yeah, I, you asked me oh, for this a, is number. a Mark I Norman. Sent you a number. Oh. Mark Norman. oh, all right. Give him a call. This is exciting. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call Mark. We should just call every Mark Normand. You don't. You're not pressing it right. Oh boy, that was an old man moment. Yeah, it really. Was. <laughs> Here we go. Here we All go. Right. It's ringing. 
Yes. How do you know this is his website? We don't. We just know that's his name. What? Volume, Volume up. up. I'll do it. <laughs> there. He did it. He's not going to answer. You know him like it's yourself. Yeah. What's I a wouldn't. 225 area code? All has been forwarded to an is that Baton Rouge? System. Two, two, it is. What? Baton Rouge. It is? Yeah. Is it you? Is it? It's your dad. <laughs> it might be. Are you Mark Norman the second? Are you Mark Norman Jr.? No, but my dad's from Baton Rouge, so this is eerie. <laughs> we asked wow. your dad for... Your dad took the do domain so that, that you could pay him. Yeah. Well, he never wanted me to do comedy. Are they proud? Uh, they don't want you in this business. No. Even now, with the success that you're having? Now it's one. turning around a little bit, but... Now it's turning around a little bit yeah. after 10 years? Oh, yeah. Finally. They're getting hip to it. Do they come to shows? No. What do you mean, no? We're sorry. Do you have siblings? Older brother, perfect son. Yeah. What does he do? He went to the best high school in New Orleans, graduated, then went straight to Berkeley, full scholarship, then joined. Musician. The no, he was a robotics engineer. Oh, Berkeley, California. Yeah. I thought Berkeley School of Music in Boston. Oh, no, no. Then he went to the Peace Corps in Africa to help starving people and feed them and all that and now he's like a computer programmer he's got two kids he's married to a doctor and i tell dick jokes in strip malls <laughs> wow you're calling yeah. is he older I'm older brother some, yeah i'm calling some another mark norman oh they keep sending numbers for mark norman oh, here oh yeah no i just why oh, did you, you do that do, do I it did i did it. it i did it wrong i did it wrong i'm sorry Match just randomly driving around in baton rouge and getting howie okay. that Every might be my number <laughs> is that your number you could just look up your number, your list. Let me see if my phone's ringing. <laughs> it is. No, it's not. Hello. It is. <laughs> How you doing? Caroline. How you doing? Caroline. Hi. Um, <laughs> is Howie Mandel here? Oh, oh get out God. Of town. Town. Wait, your no, number no, is no, just no, online. No. Yeah. What the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> no, let's take this down. We take the number down. <laughs> okay, right. Alex sent you one. Oh, here's one. Yeah. Here. Jeez, my number's online. What's a nine eight nine? Nine eight nine. Where's that? I don't know that one. There's a I lot of Mark Norman. I think it's, uh, wait, what's MI? Is that Missouri or Minnesota? Michigan. Michigan. Michigan? Michigan? Yeah. What's Mississippi. MI? What are those what's geography? Uh, okay. It's Mission Gay, Impossible. It's in Gaylord, Michigan. Gaylord, uh, Michigan? Yes. That's where we did anal. Gaylord? Yeah. Mark? Is this Mark? No one answers phones. You know why? No. No. Because you're private. Yeah, yeah that's right. My, my number's not listed. Do you want to call them? Because then they'll see your name. Mark Norman. No, they won't. Oh, no, He's that's not just your saved number. And... It's not your number. I don't what? Have what? My number. Turn the volume up, please. I did. I am unable to take your call at the moment, so please leave the name, number, and a brief message, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Uh, at the tone, please record your message. <laughs> when you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Okay, uh, Mark Norman, I have Mark Norman for you. Mark, if you get a minute, call Mark, and I don't know what, what I'm supposed to tell him. But anyway, give me another <laughs> number. Done? That wasn't good, Dad. Thank you. So the hope here is we're calling Mark, and just hoping it's the one with the <laughs> domain name. We but have isn't no there plan. a good chance that that it is? I guess, but I don't. Think most people, even if you're not in the business, get their name. Maybe most people don't. No, I don't think so. No. So your parents, are they really, are you, are you being funny? Are they really disappointed? No, I think they just are, uh, they're very nice. They're good parents, but they, I said, I'm going to do stand up. And they said, all right. That was, it wasn't like, no. And it wasn't like, good for you. It was just like, hey, you know. But no parent would ever say, oh my God, you're going to be a comedian? I guess not. I'm st wow. Yeah. Wow. Why can't, you, or, or nobody says, you know, I'm going into medicine and the parents go, oh, are you kidding me? Right. Why don't you do stand up? Yeah. Stand up is a real legitimate. Reliable so so the fact that they went, yeah, and not, you idiot, don't do that. I think is supportive. I'll take it. And now with the success where they, they've never, have they never come and saw you live? They have come a few times. Uh, do they see you online? Yeah. Have you played, uh, and, and what do they say when they see the people laughing and enjoying you? And I don't know. They don't, they don't, we don't really talk about it. They <laughs> don't seem very effusive. They're not, no. uh, did you grow up at a, at a very cold upbringing? A very, um, yeah, they're very busy. They're nice people. They're warm, but they're busy. No, there's no warmth. I'm not getting any warmth. Well, okay. They're, maybe no. Were you warmth. hugged a lot? No. So the, where are you getting the warmth? Uh, drugs. 
Okay. Rest stops. Do you do a lot of drugs? Did you do I, a lot? I, I like shrooms a lot. Yeah. yeah, and you do that uh, occasionally, often. Uh, you know. Are you on one now? No, I did it three days ago. No, those are okay now. Those are medicinal. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we went to a concert. I did a show with Burt Kreischer at Red Rocks. Right. And then the next night we saw a band that did shrooms. What band did you see? Wilco. I don't know them. I didn't know them either, but they were they were jammy. They were fun. I mean, you're on shrooms, so I could have been watching Al-Qaeda and it would have been fun. All right. And is that the only drug you do? Yeah, I'm not a big weed guy. I'll take a gummy to sleep because right. I'm not a, I'm a horrible sleeper, but uh, I'm, I don't like smoking weed. It's, no. It, all the bad stuff comes out. I'm a, I'm a booze bag. You like drinking? Yeah, it's a problem. Is it a problem? I'd say so. Why? Why is it a problem? Because you drink it's too alcoholism. much? Or you, no, I'm asking if it's because you get crazy when you're drunk or... No, I drink too much and the hangovers and then you stay up too late. Do you do crazy things when you're drunk and then you're sorry about it the next day? Yeah, probably, but I've gotten better with that. My 20s was just a... a What's the craziest thing you did when you were drunk? Whew, boy, I mean, you jump off a roof, you Try drive, you, fl you... I remember one time you I... You jumped off a roof? Yeah, we jump off into pools and stuff. Uh, one time I passed out in my mom's car and I woke up to a cop tap it on the window sun's coming in i've covered in urine and uh yours yeah good and it was leather seat so it really just pooled right and uh the cop goes what are you doing and i look around i'm in the projects of new orleans in my wow. mom's lexus <laughs> and uh they go we got a call saying there was a dead white kid in the lexus in the projects and i was like no i'm good and uh they said all right can you step out of the car i'm soaking wet show the guy my id my wallet's dripping and uh <laughs> did he take it in his hand no no, no but he uh he said are the keys in the ignition and they weren't thank god and so he goes all right we'll have some money pick you up so i got out of it because if the keys were in the ignition it'd been in dui right and then you see they they, they took you home yeah my did your mom did, did your mom say where's my car no they were out of town i stole the car okay. oh you stole a car yeah i mean i was 18 19 mm -hmm. Different times. And but did, did she not? Um, they're out of town. Did you? Did the leather not smell like urine later? I cleaned the hell out of it. But of course, they called my neighbor who picked me up, right. and then my neighbor told my parents. So they did you get in trouble? Me. Oh yeah. What was the punishment for that? I think I got grounded. You weren't allowed to take the car anymore. No, no. And they did they potty train you? No, I was a bedwetter. So whenever I blacked out, I, I it would come back. I would wet the bed again. I we, peed on many a one night stand. Jackie remembers, but uh, <laughs> did yeah. you, you you pee in a in a woman's bed like many the, times? So you were a bedwetter all the way into adulthood. Only with the drinking, I probably stopped when I was fourteen. But then when you black out happens, you still wet the bed. So um, when you wet a bed in a date's house mm -hmm. in, a, in a one night, what, what do you what like? What did you say? My first attempt was to blame them. I go, "What the hell did you do?" You know. <laughs> And that rarely worked because it was just a pool of urine around me and not them. So that rarely worked. So and, how did she respond? Well, as some girls, some women are so nice, you know, like <laughs> I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, I went to bed, which is, you know, not a sexy way to be around a lady. And they're like, ah, oh, geez. All right. Get up. And you flip the mattress. or You rip the sheet off. Uh, and then some women are like, what the fuck? I'll kill you. Get the hell out of my house. You know, so. But when they, when you get up, when the ones that get up and they take the sheet off and you turn the mattress around and yeah. then you remake the bed. Yeah. Do, do you stay after that? No. Oh, that's the shame is too great. I have to leave. And do you call them? Do you ever call them again? I'll send flowers. Sometimes I'll do their dry cleaning out of guilt. I know someone that peed in a dresser drawer. Oh. I, yeah. That's pretty when good. When he was drunk. Yeah. I've peed in corners because you know you're not you're not all there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You never urinated anywhere you weren't supposed to there. How? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't think I have. I don't think I've. I, I was a bedwetter also, but oh, I don't really? think I, I. Yeah, but uh, till about maybe ten years old, and I don't think I wet anybody else's bed oh, but my own. That was really that's the that builds character. Oh, you're supposed I used to, to do it. Sleep at friends' house. I'd stay up all night like a like a like a Nazi, you know, like on a stakeout. And because I didn't want to fall asleep or else I'd wet the bed. Wow. So you're up all night like yeah. a Nazi. Well, you know how they have to stay up in the, oh, in the trenches. Oh, I thought you meant you just <laughs> you 
kill Jews. No. No, no. he said he likes Jews. Big fan No, I know, Jews. but I'm just saying to avoid urinating, mm-hmm. sometimes you have to distract yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> as a Nazi. Mm-hmm. That's, That's all right. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Did so, you have fun on this podcast? Yeah, this is great. It is a good I one. I think we got to about four minutes of sincerity. Well, is there anything is you want to add? When you're doing, because you've been doing <laughs> podcasting a long, uh, longer than me, do you think sincerity is a good, um, is a, a good element in a podcast? Like, are people going to go? Like, they're going to be listening to this and go, "There's nothing sincere here. It's only like four minutes out I, of the hour." Well, I was watching the control booth and they were giggling, so that gave me hope. They can't hear the show, so ah. they're listening. They're listening to other stuff, so it has nothing to do with. Uh, what we're doing. Oh, shit. All right. Tell well. your dad to look at his phone. Tell your dad. Why don't you just talk to me? Here we go. Oh, oh wait. wait that's not one. what I meant to do. Here we go. Here we go. Really? Is that what you, is that what you, you just did? Quiet? What? What She's am I supposed to be saying doing? saying quiet. Oh, it's ringing. What are you doing? No, that's not a new one. Is it? Hello? Hi, is this Mark Normand? No. Is Mark there? Huh? Mark Normand. No. Wrong number? Wrong number. Oh, this is, uh, who is this? I, this is Howie Mandel. Hello, my uh, name is Liz Williams. I'm Mark Norman's mother. Oh. Wow. Oh, hey, Mom. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm Howie Mandel, and I'm doing a podcast with, uh, okay. with uh, Mar- uh, another Mark Normand. Do you know if your son has the, does he have MarkNorman.com? Did he hold that website? I thought it was MarkNormanComedy.com. It is, but we're trying to buy Mark it's Norman. It's his mom. Oh, is this is your mom? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> little rascal. <laughs> See what I did? I brought back the rascal. Yes. Oh, this is your mother. Yeah. Why didn't you want to give it? How did I get your mother's number? I don't know. Sorry, Mom. We're trying to buy a domain site here, (laughs) and we're calling all the people with my name. I mean, you came up in the list. I'm I'm here with with uh, your little queef. Um, Are you proud of him? Because I am. Yes, of course. He's on the podcast right now. Great. (laughs) But that warm and fuzzy feel. I'm. I got to tell you that I'm a huge fan of your son. And I'm a huge fan of what he's doing. Oh, and you should be very proud. I, I am. Don't worry. I wasn't worried. <laughs> I was trying to get him his own. I don't understand what happened. I just got confused. And now it's like a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> well, you... Have you, when's the last time you saw him live in concert? You have to go see him live in concert. The last time I saw him live was when he was performing in New Orleans. Right. Um, like a year ago? And do you sit in the back of the room going, oh, my God, this is my son. And these people just are laughing and enjoying and drinking in what me and my husband created. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of him, I, I think. And I actually think he's funny. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you sound more surprised than anybody. You know, I actually think this young man is funny. He is. Yes. No, no, I'm not pretending that I think he's funny. I really do think he's funny. So. Well, that's great. Well, we, we love that you made this for us, for the world. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, and what I'm doing right here is I'm sincerity. trying to add, I'm trying to add, I think we needed two more minutes of sincerity to close this uh, podcast. Is there anything you'd like to add, Mrs. Normand? What's your name? My name is Liz Williams. Liz Williams. Um, yes. Um, I... I don't have anything to add. Well, if you have nothing but to say, then I'd like to ask you to sing a song. Oh. Pardon me? Can you just sing a little something for us? And we'll use this as the closing number <laughs> of the podcast. Just sing something. Um, how about Mary Had a Little Lamb? That's, that'd be would great. That, that, that would really work. Go ahead. Mark yeah. Norman. We'll go to Mark Mary Norman Comedy. Wait, wait, hang on. Mark little Norman. Little Com- lamb, little lamb, little lamb. It's great yeah, having you on the yeah, show, Mark. Little, um, Thank you for being here. Was white as snow. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. One more time. Keep, yeah, keep singing. Um, followed her to uh, school one day. Comment. One day, uh, subscribe. One day. Get the merch. I just want to thank everybody for listening. This has been Howie Mandel does stuff. Thanks, Bob. All right, Bob. Okay, good. Okay, good.
Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Mark. Bye. Goodbye, Howie Mandel. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.